They still put on their home security alarms, even though they're inside a gated community and maybe even have a wall around their house. So you know they're talking about something else because there isn't a lot of crime. Social consequences have to do with that inside and out, and I talked about that, that you know, good people live inside, bad people live outside. There's that division made by the wall or the gate. And the kids in particular, I think, are sensitive to what I call this sort of social splitting, which is an old idea that, um, you know, that there, there's this sort of dichotomies that we create. And kids going back and forth in these gates become very insecure being outside the gates. They know that it's safe inside. They're taught from very little. You can play outside when you're inside the gates. And once you go out, you have all these restrictions. So that's a, one kind of social consequence. The other is um, from a kind of, I guess, political sort of point of view, there's this moral minimalism that plays into the social consequences. When you have private governance, there's usually some kind of board, homeowners association, even a co-op board. And when you have that kind of board, we find, at least among middle and upper middle class residents, and we do not know if this is true for low income groups, it may not be, it may be part of a class thing, that individuals don't want to deal with one another. If there's any kind of conflict, they want it to go to the board. That has tremendous consequences. You know, the more you go to the board to solve the conflict with the neighbor next door, the more you fear the neighbor next door or don't like the neighbor, the more socially isolated you are and the more fearful you are. So there's an interaction between the psychological, the social, political. These dimensions, um, these consequences interact with each other. They're not independent. And in fact, unfortunately, those boards are uh, set up by contractual law. So there are these legal implications as well. Um, you, once you buy into a private community, be it any kind of private community, whether there are gates or not, are signing a legal contract. And in so, so far as there's any problem, you are ruled by contractual law. That means your basic civil liberties are no longer available to you. So if there are rules and regulations that they decide to pass that everybody has to have green curtains and you don't want to have green curtains, um, you don't really have any recourse. You have to go to arbitration, but the public courts are not available to you. And this, in the United States, has been taken to court many, many times, and most of the times the, the, the residents lose.